The Leinster have been on quite the winning streak in the URC. 15 matches in a row. Looking for the 16th this weekend. But the thing is, they're going head to head with a Stormers side that may have the potential of ending that 15 match streak. Throughout this video, we will be doing a preview of the matchup, looking at how the Stormers could possibly walk away with their biggest win of the URC competition so far. Or maybe how Leinster can keep that winning streak going right up until the finals. But nonetheless, jumping straight into it, Leinster, they have announced their side, still looking very strong, even though they are missing those Irish players who did just come off completing a Grand Slam for the Six Nations. So it's fair to say if they were playing, they'd probably be pretty excited for yet again another challenge. But still looking at this Leinster side, when you take away those Irish players that are missing, it's still a very tough side to beat, and they have proven that from their last few fixtures, getting themselves the win over Edinburgh, the Dragons, and Cardiff in their last three victories, all of which, for those matches, they were missing their Irish internationals. But looking through at this back line, you've still got McGrath, Harry Byrne, he's been going very well lately, Frawley, Turner in the midfield, Carney, Russell, and Lamar at the back. Now, Jordan Lamar is the X Factor of this back line. If he can get something going early, Leinster may find themselves heading closer and closer to that 16th victory in a row. Now, one thing that does benefit Leinster in this match, they're playing on home soil and they don't often lose, but they lose even less when they are playing in Ireland. So they should have a good chance of winning this game. I just feel if there's any time for a side to be able to take down Leinster in a match, it would be the Stormers for this first match. And we're about to jump into why. Looking through at the Stormers lineup, they've got all their international players, whether that is Stephen Kitsoff, the Springbok Lucia prop, front row Joseph Weber, Franz Malharba, they are all Springboks and all have had a little bit of a rest. So they'll be looking forward to getting back out there on the park. Also key players to watch out for, Marnie Lebock, Damien Valimza, two men that a lot of people are saying are the future of the Springboks. They will both be playing together as the 10 and the 12. They could rearrange depending on what they decide to do with the reserves when it comes around. But the back three is where I think the Stormers have a real good shot in this match. So Nutley out on the left wing, Hudsonberg out on the right, and the man who only came into their side this year, but has already had such a tremendous impact, that is Clayton Blomakis. Now, anyone who doesn't know that name, he was playing for the Cheetahs not too long ago. He was a signing for the Stormers that came at the perfect time when they were looking to fill that gap at fullback. Blomakis has been able to do that and also it's created this newfound danger in the Stormers back three because Leinster will look to kick this ball a little bit in this match whether it is early maybe a little bit later in the fixture they'll be looking to play that territory game force the Stormers back into their own half and then either look to get the interception or look to get maybe the penalty where they can add the three or maybe the seven but with this back three of Blomakis, Sanatla and Hudsonberg all three of those men have the potential of catching that ball at the back. Not many of them enjoy kicking the ball back to the opposition, so they'll try and run it, get up to the halfway line, and perhaps that's when the Stormers can be at their most dangerous. Trying to counter-attack up against the Leinster side that don't really concede too many points, and they won't want to change that for this game, let alone any of their future games in the URC competition as well. Now looking through at some of the Stormers' recent fixtures, one stands out, and that is their game up against Ulster, in which they did lose 35 points to 5. And now you might be asking, why would this game be any different if that is the result that they had last time they went head-to-head -head with an Irish side in the URC? And to be honest, the answer is pretty much those players that I just mentioned. There was no kits off in that game. They didn't have Damien Valimza or Marnie Lebock in the starting lineup. Only Hudsonberg of those back three was in there. So this should be a whole different ballpark for the Stormers side when they go head to head with Leinster. And if there's ever a time for a South African side to win away from home, it is this match right now. That's not saying that there could be a Leinster loss in a couple weeks time when they go head to head with the Bulls. That is going to be on South African soil. But this is their only game that they've got at home against the South African side. Their next game is actually up against Ulster in the last 16 of the Champions Cup. So that will be... A very exciting head to head. But we've also got to remember both of these sides haven't played a URC fixture in 20 days. The games that the Leinster boys were playing, like I mentioned, up against a couple of the Welsh sides, 
and also Edinburgh. Whereas the South Africans, they've been going head to head with the other South African sides, getting close victories. 23 points to 19 over the Bulls and 29 points to 23 up against the Sharks. But this game for me is certainly the most intriguing of the weekend. There's also going to be Ulster versus the Bulls, which should be a great match. That should test out how another South African and Irish matchup will end up going. But this game, I think it's going to be match of the weekend. And I just hope the Stormers turn up. Because if they don't, there's a chance that Leinster win this game by about 30 points and I look like a complete and utter goose. Or more of a goose than I already sometimes do. But there is just something in my brain that's saying this match could be the one that ends the Leinster streak. And that's not saying Leinster are going to play badly. That's not saying that Leinster shouldn't get the victory in this matchup. That's just saying that the Stormers, if there's ever a time to do it, They've got to do it now or else there's a massive chance that Leinster could go all the way to the playoffs undefeated. And then they are even more dangerous than they already were in this competition. But do let me know in the comments section who you guys think will be victorious here. Do you feel Leinster can do it at home? Do you think the Stormers can do it away? This video may come across as me not thinking that Leinster can win. That is not the case. I think they've got a very good chance. This Leinster side, when they are firing, they can beat anyone on their given day. Which is why the Stormers need to not walk into this game expecting victory, but expecting a very hard-fought battle if they want any chance of winning it. And I cannot wait to see who gets the better of this exciting matchup. But thank you all very much for tuning in. We will be doing the live commentary on the channel for this matchup. So if I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys will let me know about it. Thank you all very much for tuning in, and I will see you all for the next one.